welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you for size and depth of plinth beam which i already designed for one of my clients so this project has been completed so now let me share my ideas uh, especially for size and depth of plinth beam for three story commercial building okay this is three story three story commercial building okay guys so first of all i will guide you for size of column also i will guide you for grade of concrete etc so guys as you can see this is a uh, section of the beam and this is its long section you can see clearly inside this blue lines can show you the steel reinforcement first of all i will guide you for size of beam so the width of the beam was 12 inches this is width of the beam and the depth was added by myself because according to the structure load etc this is my personal experience so guys here this is 18 inches depth is 18 inches width is 12 inches inside this guys we have four numbers of steel rods at the bottom okay and two at the top so now one thing other guys here we have also two side bars at the bottom okay let me show you also uh, here guys you can see we have two numbers at upper portion two bars dia is 16 millimeter at upper portion and four bars at the bottom portion 4 plus 2 now this is also 16 millimeter okay th these are bottom bars now these two bars guys you can see these are side bars at the bottom portion as i discussed in many videos that concrete is weak in tension so guys here if you see this is its long section so the length are the span between two column is here 20 feet this is 20 feet span okay this is one column this is other column so guys you can see clearly now let me guide you for its long section guys you can see here at this long section but before a uh, long section uh, I will also guide you for hooks etc guys you can see hooks should be bent on 135 degree same like this guys look at here and it should be bent on 135 degree and the length of the hook should not be less than 75 millimeter or 3 inches okay next guys you can see this is its stirrup so the stirrup spacing is here first of all diameter is 10 millimeter with the spacing of 150 to 200 millimeter center to center where is 150 and where is 200 millimeter so let me guide you in this long section guys you can see here this is column the span between two column is 20 feet this is other column guys here if you see the span between two column is 20 feet so let me uh, put l by 4 spacing here l by 4 means span between uh, span divided by 4 so this is l by 4 section guys and here this is l by 4 
so here if you see guys this is the length is here this is 5 feet span or L by 4 you can say this is also L by 4 okay so therefore guys these are longitudinal bars upper portion steel reinforcement and this is bottom portion ten, uh, tension zone steel reinforcement remember one thing these longitudinal bars at the end it should be make development length same like this this one should be go to the downward side and this one should be but this is continuous we can't provide but if this is not continuous for example this is here end of the beam suppose this is end of the beam so these steel reinforcement should be go to the downward side and this one steel reinforcement should be bent to the upward side so this is called development length so development length makes good bond between steel and concrete this is also very important to know about this guys if you see these are two extra steel rods so extra steel rods should be provided at the distance of l by 4 only at the distance of l by 4 you can provide it also here guys you can see same at this side this is extra steel rod okay this one to resist negative bending moment these two side bars which length you can keep to the five feet because this is l by uh, span between the uh, span by four okay l by four so therefore five feet and also here five feet these are very important which i'm discussing in this video okay now let me show you the stirrups here so let me uh, show you the stirrups so the stirrups guys the spacing is you can see at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment or you can say where we have extra steel rods look at here we have here negative bending moment guys same at this side guys you can see If you see guys you can increase the spacing here after l by 4 because here we have positive bending moment look guys okay so at the distance of l by 4 uh, or you can say this is uh, section aa this is also section aa but this one you can say this is section BB okay section BB the spacing you can increase up to 200 millimeter or you can say here uh, the stirrup spacing is 6 inches center to center or you can say here and the diameter is 8 millimeter look at here guys sorry 10 millimeter okay same at this side but here you can increase that's why because here we don't have extra steel rods and negative bending moment so therefore be careful especially for these points remember one thing more guys from aci or is the first step should be placed with the minimum spacing of two inches which is near at support so guys this is also very helpful to know about this main point so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye